I'm so happy. I feel like crying. <laughs> I gotta see if Chance is still on. You guys, help me, help a girl manifest a new laptop. Oh, I just finished doing my radio show, and I tell you, you never know what's going to come out of my mouth. Well, because it's not me speaking, you know that. You all know that, it's not me speaking. It's them. But I tell you, I just absolutely love it. When I ask people, I said, do you know Aunt Annie or whatever? And there's Aunt Annie here, and she looks like this. She got a mole over on the left side. Hello? Hello? <laughs> yeah, I know who that is. Oh, she's crying, and I feel like crying, but I can't cry because I got to stay focused. <laughs> you know? Oh. So nice. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for my gifts. Thank you, God, for letting me be competent enough to use them and want to use them correctly. Yeah, and I say that, oh God, I'm talking so much and so loud for the past hour. <clears throat> um, it's amazing, those of us that do use our gifts, and this is not a put down, this, is, this should be a pick me up, okay, just know that, don't be writing me no crap about Oh, you're holier than thou. No, I just know my stuff, okay? I've been doing it since I was 16. Well, actually before that, because we always had, you know, the lights going on, the leaves fluttering, the radio come on, 3 o'clock in the morning. The crunchy walking, somebody's walking on the carpet stuff, yeah. Anyway, this is why, this feeling right now, this feeling, I wish I could rip it out and just show it to you. It'd be pink. Because that's the only thing I could think of for just to make everybody. I mean, come on. When you think about pink, don't you just go uh, and calm down? Okay, other colors too. Like maybe a light green or something. But doesn't that just make you go, hmm, you know? <sighs> Using your gift is no joke. It is no joke, you know? I was um, trying to express that to another young man who found me on YouTube, I guess. He was smart enough to find my email so it didn't dawn on me that he, I, he knew me from YouTube. And, uh, and I was trying to get him to see how important it is to be still and ground. Now when I say ground, I do not mean, sorry I gotta keep track of time. I do not mean just say a prayer for protection. No. I mean ground. And then you got to practice it and practice it and practice it to where you can just fall back into it instantly. Oh, I keep forgetting. It needs to be over there. I'm sorry. I think. Instantly. Oops. You know? Instantly. You must ground your body, your spirit. Okay? Instantly. Thoroughly. You know, that's why I use a redwood tree, because it's a lot bigger than me, 300, 400 feet in the ground. Ain't nothing moving, Tosh, when she ground it in there, okay? And now, literally, this is, this is the tree, okay? And what I have done since 6 o'clock was this, and I fall into the tree and I sit there and I can look up and I can see the birds in their nests and I can see the little insects crawling around and it doesn't bother me because you know I don't like insects <laughs> no I like them I'm sorry <laughs> yeah and I can look down and I can see the roots going 400 feet in the ground my body is on this side of the tree and I'm on this side with my silver cord attached instantly Cause I'm telling you this about that. I might get frustrated. I might need to vent. I might need to learn patience. When it comes down to it, sorry, the lady who called in her her guides and her aunties, they were clapping because they was in church. Yeah, you gotta go listen to the video. I'll put the link over there. And it was just, yeah, we, I mean, it was like a personal little church. The four, one, two, three aunties came in and her and me. So it was like we were just having choich with ourselves, you know. 
And anyway, so the importance of grounding, well, another reason, you don't fear. See, now, Chance was getting on me about, you know, the person hacking my stuff. I wasn't afraid that he hacked it, because anybody can get anything you want online nowadays. You can. You know that, right? Yeah. So it wasn't the fear of taking my $217 out of the bank. It was an uncomfortableness, because that's that was my memories. And I'm human. I still want my memories. Give me it's like your purse. I want my purse. Give me back my purse. I only have a dollar fifty in my wallet, but give me back my purse. You know, you got your pictures and the little squiggle that your two year old did, and you put that in there. So when you have a bad day, you pull that. Yeah, all of that was in TashaSpeaks at gmail.com. So I wasn't afraid or hating him. I missed having my memories where I could just click on the button and see them. You know. So, I tried, that's why you hear me say in a lot of videos, you know, just, and let it go. Uh, yeah, I cried that Thursday night, Friday day, and Friday night when I got home. It's like, okay, God, what's next? I went, stayed up till 2 o'clock in the morning changing 252 passwords. Yeah, thank God. Do you write your stuff down? Right? Good idea. You know, full <laughs> of past work. Okay. You know, passwords. Yeah, and I just changed the important ones. Thank God, because now that I got it back, see, I, all the old ones are, you know, still the same. But I'm still changing the password one by one. So you know, letting go. Because I have faith that something bigger would happen. I didn't know what it was. I didn't. I, it didn't matter what it was. I don't. I don't know. But I knew that something that I didn't expect was going to come out of that. And of course, that was um, Andrew, which is the, a video I made earlier today. So you know, grounding is just ugh, everything. It is so important. It is so important. You know. Um, I was talking with another lady that I met online, and she's like, well, aren't you afraid of, you know, men hurting you again? And, oh, no, 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 no. Like, I'm not afraid of nothing, please. And you women who have experienced being, you know, raped or abused, no, you will kill anything, <laughs> it, you know, if it comes at you uh, in a negative way. No fear. You're dead. <laughs> yeah. And, and I mean it that literally but in a light spirited way now back then you know, it was hardcore you know marine tosh you know um and you, after that you don't really fear anything i mean i don't fear spiders and creepy crawlies and stuff because you, know, you squash it and that's it though i try to pick it up and put it outside but grounding 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 is the most important thing and if you cannot ground and realize the difference between a prayer and grounding your soul to the earth so it doesn't go up to heaven or hell or whatever you think it's going to go to and stay on the other side, then you're not able to use your gifts, in my opinion. You're not able to help heal. You can't even talk about metaphysics if you do not know how to ground. Yeah, and you're going to know when you're grounding because whatever pops up, you know, I was emotional. I cried. I stay still. I did what my Angelo said. And I'm going to thank you, Lord, for this situation. I don't know what's going to come of it, but thank you. I thank you for this lesson right now to teach me something greater later. You know, it's always greater later, right? And in that became actually a lot of things that I can't talk about. But out of that hacking thing, I got. didn't see coming because you know I don't usually read for myself I mean I get feelings and stuff you know go over here or go around and, but you know such and such as Andrew's gonna come and he's gonna get that and he's gonna email you I never would have thought that but anyway grounding is the most important thing okay so let's study it let's try different ways but you gotta learn how to ground yourself so when these you know spirit guides try to talk to you tell you what to do you don't go 
No, you can't be getting tense and stuff and they're trying to talk to somebody. you just a telephone. You know, they talk to, through you to them. Yeah. So, let's try that. And I'm going to go do some more of it. Well, not now. I just did my, I did a one hour meditation. Pretty much. Okay, 45 minutes. And, um, I'm very hungry and I'm very thirsty. I'm going to go get some fresh air, walk around the block real quick and be still. <laughs> You be still. Love yourself. Thank you for letting me share my joy. I'm going to put the link over there for blog talk so you can hear the readings tonight. <laughs> Love you. Bye.